Personas Capture for iPad is straightforward, simple, easy to use. It's basically record on, record off, punch in, punch out. That's pretty much it. You can pan individual channels as you record them, and it works well with the Personas i2 interface. My one and only gripe is that you cannot import audio, which is quite disappointing because if I'm not in the studio, let's say I'm in a hotel room, I'm on the road, and I have to do some overdubs, it would be nice if I can import a reference track to sing along to or play along to. Now, hopefully this feature will be added in a later version of Capture. Until then, I have discovered a workaround, and it works quite well. It's quite simple, and here's how I did it. The first thing we need to do is to take our reference track and convert it to a core audio file. Right now, it is a WAV file. For conversions, I like to use Wondershare Video Converter Ultimate. It's about $39, which may seem expensive, but considering uh, the type of conversions it does, it converts pretty much anything to anything. And if you're uh, dealing with multiple file types on a daily basis like I am, the price is well worth it. And as you can see, it took a four minute WAV file and converted it into a core audio file in just a few seconds. And if you go back to the source folder, you can see that the file has been saved as a CAF. Now let's go to our iPad, open up Capture, and create a new session. By default, it opens up with one audio track that's record enabled. Add two or three more. The process seems to be more reliable that way. Hit record and let it go for about 10 seconds. You just need enough audio to fool the computer. After the song is saved, it will appear in the main menu as New Session. Let's change the name to let's call it um, import session now on the Mac open up iTunes go to the apps menu and scroll down until you see the apps that are listed under file sharing we're going to choose of course capture and we can see the session that we created called import session. We're going to save this. We're going to save it to that predetermined folder on our desktop. You can save it to any folder. You can save it to iCloud or Dropbox if you like. We're going to save it to a folder on the desktop. Open up the folder we saved on the desktop. You'll see our session appears in a folder. There's an audio files folder and there are the three tracks we made. Track one, track two, and track three. Let's take one of those tracks and throw it in the trash. We'll pick track one. Now our reference track that we converted is going to replace it. We're going to have to rename it track one in order to fool capture into thinking that that's the track we recorded in the original session. And now that we have confirmed that the project has been saved to the desktop intact, we can delete it from our iPad. Now let's go back to iTunes, Apps, Capture, and then click Add. Choose the session that we saved to our Mac and upload it back to your iPad. Open up Capture for iPad and look for the song. Sometimes it doesn't show up. You'll have to toggle between Recent Sessions and All Sessions and then it will appear in the menu. And as you can see, the original track one has been replaced by the converted reference track. Now it's the same length as the original track, so all you have to do is stretch it out, and there it is. You are now ready to record with a reference track that has been imported. The one drawback is that this track will play in mono, even though it appears as a stereo track. If it's important to work with a stereo reference track, you'll have to do this process twice once for the left side and once for the right side. But for what I'm doing today, mono is going to be fine. I'm going to be in my car driving to two different places, getting a vocal track from one person and then a rhythm track from another person. So why take a few extra steps to record to capture when I can already import audio into an app such as Aurea? Here's why. I produce almost entirely in Studio One. So when I get back to my studio, I can fire up Studio One on my Mac and send the capture session over to Studio One via Wi-Fi. And here you can see it loading in the audio that I recorded on the iPad. It will open up as a new session in Studio One, intact and ready for editing or further production. If you view the information on a particular piece of audio in the audio pool, you can see that it's still a CAF file. These files can be converted within the application.
or they can be exported as WAVE, AIFF, MP3, etc. And now that I can import a track into Capture, I can set up my session template before I leave the house, before I go on the road. I can take just my iPad with me. I don't have to take a laptop, which is very convenient, especially in an airport. The other thing is that I can set up session templates for other people who are recording with Capture and send that session template to them with a reference track via iCloud or Dropbox. Now, while this may seem to be a bit inconvenient, maybe a little time consuming, it's actually not. The whole thing takes me a minute to a minute and a half, and it shouldn't take you any longer than that, depending on how fast your converter is. I like to use Wondershare. There are some online converters that are free, but they are slow, and it requires an upload and then a download link that gets emailed to you. So just for convenience sake, look into Wondershare. And hopefully, Personas will add an import feature in an updated version of Capture. But until then, I think this will work well for me. Thank you for watching.